bit of more than we could chew. In silent rage, I come of age. The one you thought you knew. Oh, oh, I can't shake this feeling. Cause I think I'm falling for the villain. And it's not looking like a good decision. Oh, and I try so hard to understand this. And you won't attempt to reprimand it. Should I sit and take it in? Let it all unfold. It just say. Hey everyone, welcome in. Welcome back to my channel, The Artificial Trainer here. We're gonna make some people talk today. We have the newest lip sync model, Infinite Talk. It's out, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna walk through the workflow with you. We're gonna make some awesome content. This is something I could truly see a lot of videos going viral with, so absolutely a worthwhile one to watch and learn how to use because it's gonna be a great tool for your toolkit. So as always, I have the model downloads down in the description below. We'll quickly go through how to do one of the model downloads and then I'll leave you to it to do the rest of them. While you're at it, while you're in that description, hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel, helps me create more content, helps me get the content out faster to all of you. All right, so just for time's sake, I'll download the infinite talk, just the infinite talk model and then you can download the rest of them using the exact same process on your own. All right, so as soon as you click on the link down in the description, it should start downloading for each model. Some of the models are big, so they might take a while to download, but just keep watching this video. I'll teach you how to use it. Once you're done with the video, models should be downloaded and you can try it out. Okay, so for the Infinite Talk model, the description tells you to place it in the ComfyUI Models Diffusion Models folder. So we're in our ComfyUI folder, we'll go to models, diffusion models, and then here's my model. I'll just drag it in and that's all you need to do for that model. So just go through and do the exact same thing with the rest of the models in here and then you'll be ready to go with the workflow. So grab the workflows from down below. I have a one 2.2 text to image workflow down here. We're just gonna use that to generate the first frame. You can use it if you want. You also can use Flux or Hydream or whatever your preferred tool is. And I would recommend starting with just the Infinite Talk workflow. The Infinite Talk Fantasy Portrait is kind of like a, it, it copies facial movement with the lip sync, but you need a driving video for that. And singing videos are surprisingly very hard to find royalty free. So I'm not gonna demo that one perfectly today. I'll show you how it works, but we're not gonna get a great generation, but the infinite talk one, we will get a good generation. Okay, so your other option is to use Artificial Studio. This is what I use. It's just a tool that I created. You can find it in the description below, but if you wanna use Artificial Studio, you don't have to, it's, this is completely optional. I just think it's a useful tool. Just check the infinite talk checkbox, and then you're gonna want the light X to V Laura's, and then hit download. Okay, from there we can head to Comfy. So let's first bring up the Infinite Talk workflow. So if you downloaded it from the description, you can just drag it in. Or if you're using Artificial Studio, you'll just have it available in your workflows that are available out of the box. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab some audio. I have this, uh, this fun royalty-free video from YouTube falling for the villain. And then I'm going to create a font 2.2 image. I'm going to say a blonde singer on stage singing into a microphone at a festival. She is wearing a white t-shirt and bell bottom jeans. All right, so there's a great believable picture for our lip sync. So let's drag and drop that into our infinite talk workflow. Just make sure that you have all the, all the right models selected here, um, all the ones that you downloaded from the description, and then throw in a prompt. I've actually found that arguing sometimes is better. You get a little bit more like passion in the face for singing. So I kind of like that. Um, but you can definitely use singing. In this case, I actually may use singing because um, 
actually want her to sing. There's cases where like it was a singing video, but I kept getting a microphone creeping in <laughs> to the to the generation and I didn't want that. So we're going to go with this. And then down here, there's two groups, one's for start time, one's for end time. Um, the way it works is you put the start time in minutes and seconds and then the end time in minutes and seconds. And then it calculates how, how long the video is and how many frames you need. So I'm just going to do 10 seconds for this example. So 53 seconds to one minute and three seconds. And then the only other thing you need to do is resize your image. So if you want it 720p or 480p, or I have it at 540p right now, and then that really should be all you need to do. So I'm going to run it and then I'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on here. Okay. So this audio crop node just cuts the, the audio to the length we want. This audio separation separates the vocals out so that you're only getting the vocals. This is actually probably a pretty useful node for some of you that are in, into the more audio space. And then we're taking the image, we're resizing it and we're encoding it. We're using the clip vision. This is the same as one image to video. And then we're passing it into this infinite talk. This basically is conditioning the image embeds and it uses essentially context windows. So it uses a, a context window size of 81 and then it uses 25 frames of overlap. So it uses 25 frames from the last video as the 25 frames for the next part of the video. And it does that in 81 frame chunks. And then this does generate a 25 FPS. So make sure your video combine is set at the appropriate rate. Oh, oh, I can't check this feeling. Cause I think I'm falling for the villain. And it's not looking like a good decision. So pretty solid. You know, on a, a phone or something like that, you probably couldn't tell that this was an AI generation. You know, you could create an AI song, you know, put an AI generated person of it and create a pop star. It's pretty, pretty cool model that we have in Infinite Talk. Now, I really prefer using Infinite Talk on its own. I think that it is much better than adding in the, I think it's much better than adding in the fantasy portrait driving video but i know that some people like to play around with you know all the options that are available to them so let's give this one a, a shot so first thing you need to get your video like we had previously and then grab your audio so we'll use that same falling for the villain song actually i think i have another one with a male singer in here we'll try okay so I have this video of a man talking, I have this fiery guy, and then we have our audio. And then what we expect to happen is the face to move like the guy down below here, but the mouth to move like the audio. So this doesn't always work great. Like I said, I prefer just infinite video straight up or infinite talk straight up, but this is an option that you can play around with. And it definitely works best if the audio is coming from the driving video. This one, I'm doing a weird case where the audio is different from the driving video. So I'm really just looking to get the movement. But this work definitely works better if you have, you know, someone singing a song driving the video and it's the same song that you're trying to output. You picked your fury and kept it in. I just always prefer the infinite talk output anyways. So. You can give this one a try. It does run through, but I don't know if you'll be super happy with the results. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you got something out of it. I hope I see more of those infinite talk videos popping up on social media. If you do, tag me in them. I'd love to see what you guys are creating out there with this stuff. Join the Discord. I'm always in there helping out, sharing some of the content that I'm working on. Follow my other socials. I'm trying to post more on TikTok and Instagram. To, so I'd love to interact with some of you on there. Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.